What's up everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Past Chat. I am Matt, that is Dan and that is Ash. Hello. Hello. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> yeah, much better. Okay, so this is our normally weekly but not always weekly show that we do on a Wednesday. We Re- get together. Regular to semi-regular. <laughs> semi-weekly <laughs> show that we do where we get together and we talk video games. So a couple of weeks ago we did some E3 predictions. The event has now happened and closed. We were going to do our results last week but... Dan was kind of holding on to some false hope that maybe maybe some announcement could be made during the show of E3 and not the conferences. Um, little kind of spoiler warning, he didn't get any extra points, so that's great. So we're going to go through all of our predictions here now and see who won, who got the most points. So, it's not me. I don't think, none of us really kind of had any predictions dead right, but some people kind of got close. Yeah. So... Let's start with our Xbox predictions. Uh, Ash, your yes. Xbox prediction was? Uh, I said that they would be introducing more of a um, sort of mobile on-the-go gaming, more sort of joined up and okay. universal. I'm pretty sure you didn't say those I'm words. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you were saying it was going to be something similar to the Vita. <laughs> it was, it was I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you that. said, yeah... I'll, I remember now exactly. You're like, yeah, they're going to introduce something. It's going to be called Play Anywhere, and it's going to be compatible with Xbox One and Windows 10 PC. As long as you That's buy like the digital copy of one version, that you'll be able to play it on the other. Maybe not quite that. So what you said was they were going to get more involved in the handheld gaming space. Yeah, but you were non-committal of how. I think we even said so. What do you mean, like kind of with Windows 10? And you, I think you then said no, more like Vita. Is that what you said? It was somewhere between like a Vita and a Windows. Yeah, it's it's so sort like, of like yeah. a Surface Pro sort of. So are we going to give them a... Let's, let's get out of the room. We know Play Anywhere was announced. This is the yeah. now where all of their games are going to be cross-buy, cross-save, cross-play with Xbox One and Windows 10. So you buy a game digitally on Xbox One, you get the PC version, you can then take it on the go with your Windows 10 laptop. Do we think he deserves a point? Or maybe a very generous half? I would give him half. Because he At was... most a half. It's a generous... Okay. It's it's a stretching to a half, but maybe a quarter point. Ah, uh, no, we won't no. be able to k- keep okay. track of that. <laughs> All right, you can have half a point. It's very generous. Thanks, you're so but kind. Remember that when I talk about my Xbox One. Okay. So I said that the Xbox One Slim would be shown. It would be released before Black Friday, but then I did also say they wouldn't talk about the Xbox One Point Five. Ah. But no what? And <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Slim was shown. Before Black Friday, coming mm-hmm. August, no mention of Xbox 1.5. They talked about something called Project Scorpio. Never <laughs> mention the Xbox 1.5. So, make about what you will. I know what I'd give myself. At most a half. Two thirds. I, there was three bits. You're either getting a half or a whole point. I'll okay, I'll have a whole point then. I'll give you a half. You're getting a half. Two, I've got two thirds of my prediction correct, so surely I should get two thirds. Dan, what was your prediction? <laughs> You've got your half, take it, or you'll lose it. For fuck's sake. To get a whole point, fine. I think you have to get everything that you're saying. Isn't okay, it? Yeah. fine. Yeah. I'm more, my half a point is worth way more than your <laughs> half point, though. At least I was like, I got things right. You were kind of just like, but yeah, they're going to release a Vita. They <laughs> did release a Vita, thought, half a point. I thought by being as vague as possible, then I'm like, yeah, anyway. I don't um, think you should have half Anyway, what was your I already know I've got nothing for this. I said they would announce a VR setup for the Xbox and it would not be the Oculus Rift. You did. You did? Now, obviously we haven't seen any VR headset set up but we do know the Scorpio what? is coming to support it and that's as far as yeah. connections go. I don't think you really get any point with that. There was someone playing with a VR headset on the Xbox One stage though when they played Forza Horizon to showcase the play anywhere. They had a bloke playing on the Xbox One they had a bloke playing on the Xbox One S they had a nerd in the corner on his PC with his racing wheel and race, racing chair and then they had a bloke in VR like it wasn't VR he wasn't used he wasn't I assume he wasn't actually playing VR but it was showing that it kind yeah, of yeah but they, they didn't announce it for so yeah thing, so. no sorry no points there sorry I knew that was unlucky um, Sony <laughs> the sincerity of that comment. he won last year so <laughs> okay fair Sony fair. what did you say about Sony uh Oh. Do you want me to tell you what you said about Yeah, something? go on. You said that they were going to announce the PlayStation 4.5. Ah, uh, yes, anything. I did. Yeah. Wrong. Wrong. They announced it before E3. Doesn't count. Zero points. 
unfortunately. They didn't even say it was Neo, they just talked about how yeah. they were being... I think basically when they made that announcement is because they realised they'd heard that Xbox were going to be talking about Scorpio, so they just had to get out ahead of it and say, just so you guys know, we do have something that's coming. Yeah. But it, you know, they, that if because if they had said nothing at all and Xbox came out of that, then it would have been really bad. I was bored, but, yeah, because I said um, about them having like 4K gaming, and I remember I said that because I want 4K gaming. Mm-hmm. The other thing is I had the wrong... Yeah. Whereas... Console. Dan, I think you went even one step further, didn't you? Yeah, mine was a ridiculously long thing in that I said that they would put the rumours to rest, which happened before E3. And I yeah. said it would be a new console, and I said it would be the next generation, which is obviously wrong. And then I tacked on at the end that Microsoft would also address the Project Scorpio rumours. But my main prediction was based on... Yeah, because it was a Sony prediction. Yeah. So, yeah. So, again, nothing. So, we, so, you guys got no points. And I predicted that Sony would reveal Sucker Punch's new game and it wouldn't be Infamous. So, well, there wasn't an Infamous game. So, half point? No. <laughs> I was clutching at straws yeah. there. Even, even by my stretch. Clutching at straws. That's... <laughs> no. Okay. So, unfortunately, yeah, they didn't show Sucker Punch. They showed nearly every other studio but not Sucker Punch. Should have stuck with my Ben prediction from last year. Then yeah. I would have got a point. Yeah. <laughs> so, at the moment... Dan is on zero. Yeah. And me and Ash are both on half. Now we come to the third party one. Ash? Uh, did I say about Red Dead? You did. You said Red Dead Redemption would be revealed. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately not. Although, no. have you heard the very interesting rumours that have been circulating around the internet? No. Yeah. Even though... Enlighten me. The Sony, yeah. the Sony guy, uh, was it Andrew House possibly? One of the Sony execs basically said... This is not true. But basically the rumours were, because you know they had Days Gone, the trailer at the start, and then they had the full gameplay at the end. The rumours circling was that Red Dead 2 was going to be what was going to close the Sony press conference. Oh. And in that trailer section there was going to be, um, there was a scene where a bloke kind of shoots up a saloon. And because of what happened in Orlando, they felt it wasn't in good taste to show it. So they And so it. they pulled it. And that's why they had to then put more Days Gone stuff at the end. Because like the reason that was because what was shown in the conference was what had been shown behind closed doors to the press. Yeah. Like so, it's like normally the press see something a little bit more. Yeah. Substantial than what yeah. they're shown to the public. They do. But because it's exactly the same thing, they thought they it was do. being sent out and as that, a filler. That would that would make total sense. But that it does make been sense. Turned around and said not true. Well, certainly, but certainly yeah. aren't, they certainly aren't going to be like, yeah, that that was true. We're supposed yeah. to show their dead because. When they pull it, it that, it's not up to them to announce it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but they, so, they, they turned around and the official line was the conference had been set weeks beforehand in terms of its content and its yeah, layout, content. therefore nothing had been removed yeah. at the time of showing. Okay. So it depends who you're going to believe. Are you going to believe the random conspiracy theorists on the internet or are you going to believe Sony? Conspiracy theorists! Either way, you don't get a point because it wasn't there. Okay, so. it's fine. Don't care then. <laughs> right, next. Uh, wait, wait a second. Oh, you mean next person? Yeah. Yes. I was going to say, that's all you've got. Yeah. Uh, Dan, you were similar, I think, and expanded. Again, I expanded on what Ash had said. I'd said that we would see the announcement of two Rockstar games, one being a new Red Dead game, mm. and then another one being a new IP. No. <laughs> I think, yeah, we were talking about this before off, off air, that basically Take Two said that they were going to be at E3 in a big way. And it and seems you took, that physical presence was the big way. Right? Yeah, you, t- you took that big way as, oh, we're going to get an, gotta get Rockstar stuff in because nothing's bigger in Take 2 than Rockstar. Yeah. But no, they basically just took over half a floor by rebuilding New, New Orleans, Orleans for Mafia 3. Like, if you look at the, you look at the, if you go and look for their booth on E3 and see the videos, like, it looks amazing though, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I literally just look like New Orleans. I haven't seen the comments, yeah, but yeah. Have a look. So yeah, they were literally physically there in a big way, but no new announcement. But... Mafia 3, by the way, looks awesome. I can't wait to play that game. Uh, so, no points there. My... See, I did say I had Red Dead, but I said I wasn't going to make that my official prediction mm. because you guys are doing it. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I said, New Elder Scrolls, we'd see full footage, and it'd be 2017. Nope, 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 nope. Actually, it's quite Actually wait a second, wait a second. Was there not a new Elder Scrolls? Skyrim Remastered. No. New Elder Scrolls game. No. It's a new no. Elder Scrolls game. It is it not is. a new I didn't say. Game. I didn't say 
brand new game. I just said New Elder Scrolls. It is a new game. As in, there wasn't an, it's remastered, so it's not the exact same. It's a, it's a new, so uh, it's a new skew. Is it called Elder Scrolls? Yes. Elder, Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. Yeah. It's, it's just short some order. Yep. So it is a new skew. Therefore, it is a new game. We saw footage. Okay, it's not 2017. It's 2016. But I, I think that's worth half a point. No, I don't think it is. Oh, come on! It's not a game. I, I don't think remasters count as announcing new games. No, it's not. I feel like you guys are conspiring against me right now. Well, obviously. <laughs> what do you mean, obviously? You're supposed to be impartial. No. Yes. What, why, why are you well, as host of a sh- as, as host of a show, I'm going to give myself half a point, <laughs> which that means I end up with one. Ash is on half. Also, no. was that not announced prior to E3? Nope. No, it was not. Or was it just rumours? There was rumours. Okay. Rumours going round, and the reveal was at E3. It'd be quite nice if, like, in um, as a referee, you could <laughs> deduct points for arguing, and then we could remove you half a point. What we eject I, from the filming? I think I think you guys are strongly misled when you thought that this was a uh, democracy. <laughs> I clearly stated that this was a dictatorship when we started this show, this channel together. <laughs> so uh, uh, it's all right. It's well, um, okay, okay, fine. It's I didn't. That wasn't my intention on the prediction. I know. Mm. And but we did hear, didn't they say something about um, an Elder Scrolls game is going to be a long way off or something? Yeah, it's like it's yeah. not going to be for. A they also, yeah, they did actually. Well, actually, they did also show. If you want to be even more picky, mm-hmm. uh, where is it? Let me get it. Just a second. They did actually also show us. Who is it? Bethesda. Yeah, uh, a new Elder Scrolls card strategy game. Another new Elder Scrolls game. So damn it, he wins. <laughs> They the Elder Scrolls Online, but that was that's when, not when, new. When does the card game come out? Um, I don't know, but at least I get at least half a point, which oh, is enough to win. Damn it, he wins it on a technicality. Victory! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nailed it. That's what I meant all along. Card <laughs> strategy games, the future of video games. You do, do realise that nobody actually gives a shit about it. No, I don't. <laughs> nobody really cares. This is good. The only way this is going to be the most viewed video is that I'm going to keep watching it over and over. <laughs> I think it's safe to say, though, that we all did horrendously, in, we, in we, all seriousness. We did. Yeah. Um, I think um, may, maybe maybe next year we should maybe more we learn from this and actually think of what might actually be announced rather than our... Most of our predictions, I think, were more wishful thinking. Yeah. Rather is. than actually what was going to happen. This is what we wanted to happen. So yeah. really, we shouldn't have called it E3 predictions. We should have called it our E3 wish list. In all fairness, I True. kind of went a bit more extreme this year to counter the fact that you got annoyed with my safe place the previous year. No, your, yeah. yeah, but your safe prediction was there won't be a new Vita. <laughs> <laughs> no, no new handheld. No, 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 yeah, no new handhelds. I was like, yeah. <laughs> There yeah. were multiple prediction is that multiple people who could come out. Is the Sony and yeah. Xbox, uh, Sony and Microsoft. Will like Dave in the corner with his like tiny trestle table booth could have come out with a handheld. Yeah, if uh, that had been shown, that would have. I think my, my point was more that I want you to predict what will happen, not what won't happen. Yeah. because it's very easy to predict when what what won't happen. What 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 Let's let's bring it around nicely. Obviously, okay. we're all about E3 here. What was your in the game of the week show, which you will have hopefully already seen by now? We picked our favorite comp or what? Who we did? I can't speak. They can't. <laughs> who we thought did the best conference? Yeah. Now let's just do a quick thing and say what was your what was your favorite game that you saw? Favorite reveal? Favorite moment from the whole show? Do you want me to go first while you think about no. it? No. I think Ash might know. I think I might know Ash's anyway. But. I'm gonna say Steep. Yeah. Yeah. I just think I've been waiting a long time for um, a new winter sports, mm-hmm. extreme sports sort of game. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased. Very pleased about that coming out. But that's not to say I'm not excited about Days Gone because I am. So. Yeah, it was. It's nice because it was completely out of left field, wasn't it? Yeah. As well, didn't expect to see it. Yeah. Dan. Ghost Recon for me. It's like that was a game. As soon as it was announced, I pre-ordered it without knowing anything about it. Yeah. And it's really good to see that that's a game that's come on and looks amazing. Yeah. Hopefully the final product is as good as what we saw. Yeah. <laughs> see, I, I agree with both of yours. Like, both of those games were, like, 
real highlights for me. Like mm-hmm. in terms of and, and even South Park, although I kinda knew that was coming and we didn't yeah, really see how much though, South Park, South Park. Um I think it's the new Spider Man game. Wow. I think that was my because it was just so unexpected. Yeah. It was just like well I know there were rumours, but I never really kind of expected it. And it looks so good. It does. And like one of my favourite games of all time was like that Spider Man two game on the original Xbox where the first time you could swing through New York and just yeah. how cool it was. It was good. So yeah, am I disappointed that it's not Sucker Punch making it? I am because I'm a huge fan of theirs, but I still trust Insomniac to do it, and I just think that's going to be a really cool game. Days Gone obviously equally does look great, but I need to know a little bit more about it first. Whereas Spider Man, you kind of know what you're getting into with Spider Man. Yeah, you do. So you already know it's going to be good. Yeah, um, they always make great games. Has the you already know it's got the potential to be a very good game. It's just whether it's delivered. Mm. Biggest announcement was obviously Scorpio, but it's like, well, it's something that we're not going to know anything about for another year and a half, so yeah. I'm not going to get excited about something that far in the future. It's basically next E3 is the one you'll mm-hmm. know about it. But yeah, in terms of games, games I'm most looking forward to playing for this year, I think, is Watch Dogs 2. I think. I don't even know if I can make a decision like that. I have no idea. There's loads of games that I'm excited for this year, so... We'll see. I need to get my list together. <laughs> start, start counting those pennies. Oh, start saving up. No. You got one for this year that stands out for you, Dan? Not at the moment. I think a lot of the games that I'm looking forward to more, off the top of my head, are ones that have been pushed into next year or are always going to be coming out early 2017. Early, you know, 2017. So we'll see. There's always more division to play. Of course. There's always there's always <laughs> more richer. there's always more lots of things to play. Yeah. So there we go. There's our E3 predictions, results, wrap up and a couple of little opinions. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let us know down below what your favourite game was from E3. I would say let us know about your predictions but that's kind of like a stupid thing to say because I'm sure you're all like, yeah I predicted everything that happened I E3. predicted <laughs> the entire EA conference. They showed off our Madden, they showed off well, That was the FIFA. easiest thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that next year. We're going to see a new Madden, we're going to see a new FIFA. It's like, EA's conference was so shit. It was so, was so bad. Was bad. It, it just did not need to be there. But anyway, yeah, let us know about your favourite games. Happy comments, not the uh, not negative stuff. But for now, Ash, Dan, guys, thank you, guys. And everyone out there, thanks for watching. We will see you all next time.